Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Question number 12, chapter 24, electric potential. Uh, I'll read out the question. In figure, a particle is to be released. This is the diagram. In figure, particle is to be released at rest uh, at point A and then is to be accelerated through directly through point B by an electric field. The potential difference between points A and B is 100 volts. Which point should be at higher potential, higher electric potential if the particle is part A an electron, part B a proton, and part C an alpha particle, uh, which is a nucleus uh, of which is a nucleus of helium, uh, basically helium nucleus. Part D rank the kinetic energies of these particles at point B greatest first. Okay, so. We are having a charged particle at point A at rest initially and then you have to release it. After releasing it, a particle is supposed to go through point B. Okay, particle is supposed to go through point B. Now for that we have to see whether A is at higher potential or B is at higher potential and options are charge particle which is to be placed at A. In the first case it is an electron, in the second case it is a proton and in the third case it is an alpha particle which is simply a helium nucleus. Two protons and two neutrons. Now, uh, for any particle to be accelerated through B, force on the particle must be in the direction of B, towards B. Okay, that part is clear. No, uh, if particle will only accelerate towards B if force is towards B. So, force has to be towards B. Okay, force has to be towards B. Now, uh, let's suppose this is point A, this is point B. For in the first case, we are having an electron, so which is a negatively charged particle, okay, negatively charged particle, electron. Now, force on this particle must be towards B, okay, force on the particle must be towards B. So, force on this electron is this way and force in an electric field, uh, you must be aware of, uh, this value is charge times the field. Okay, charge times the field. Charge of the electron we represent by E and electric field is E. So, this is the direction of uh, force. Now, in case of negative charge, okay, in case of negative charge, we uh, know or you must be knowing that force on a negative charge is always opposite the direction of field. Force, direction of force on a negative charge is always opposite the direction of electric field. So, if electric force is rightward, then field must be leftward, okay, field must be leftward. So, if it is an electron, field here must be this way. This is the direction of field. If an electron is to be placed at point P and we want to accelerate it through A, then field must be leftward. Then only force will be rightward and then only particle will move rightward and go through, uh, through point B. Now, now we are asked, we are not asked to find our direction of field, we are asked to find out uh, which point is at higher potential, point A or point B. Now again, uh, you must be knowing this uh, while going through this chapter, you must have read this, that potential, potential decreases in the direction of field. Potential decreases in the direction of field. Potential decreases in the direction of field. Okay, as you move in the direction of field, potential decreases. So, if we move leftward in the direction of field, potential decreases. So, it must be higher here, then it decreases on this side. So, point B must be at higher potential, point A must be at lower potential. So, that potential decreases in the direction of field. So, potential at B must be greater than potential at a. Then only potential decreases in the direction of field and then only electron will be accelerated rightward. You can also remember it this way. Uh, uh, if a negative charge is placed in a region of potential difference, if a, poten electron, if a negative charge is placed in a region of varying potential, it has a tendency to move to higher potential. So, negative electron is negatively charged, it has a tendency to move to higher potential. So, it will move towards B only if B is at higher potential. Okay, uh, you can directly uh, 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 go through the potential without going through the field in that case. In the second case, we are having a proton. Okay, we are having a proton. So, we have point A here. 
we have point B here. A proton is to be placed. So, proton is a positively charged P. This proton, same argument, what we talked about an electron, will go through B, will be accelerated through B only if it experiences force towards B. Okay, if it experiences force towards B, then only it will be accelerated towards B. And force we know is charge into the field. Okay, charge into the charge of proton is same as charge of electron in magnitude, obviously plus minus uh, differences there. Now again, uh, force on a positive charge, on a positive charge is in the direction of field. On a negative charge, force is opposite the direction of field. So field is leftward, force is rightward. But in case of a positive charge, force is in the direction of field. So whatever the direction of force, same is the direction of field. So field must be this way. Then only proton will experience force this way. Then only proton will be accelerated through B. Okay, now, again the same thing, potential decreases in the direction of field. This time direction of field is rightward, so potential decreases rightward. So if potential is decreasing rightward, that means A must be at higher potential. So in this case, VA must be greater than VB. VA must be greater than VB. So if it is an electron, then B must be at higher potential. If it is an uh, if it is a positive charge, any positive charge, in this case a proton, then A must be at higher potential. Again, you can directly uh, reach to the conclusion without going through this electric field thing by remembering one simple thing that negative charge has a tendency to move to higher potential. Positive charge has a tendency to move to lower potential. Positive charge has a tendency to move from higher potential to lower potential. From higher potential to lower potential. And negative charge has a tendency to move from uh, lower potential to higher pro potential. From lower potential to higher potential. Okay. So in the third case, we have a proton now. So point A, point B. Uh, an alpha particle, which is again a positively charged particle, alpha particle. Force, irrespective of the sign, must be towards B. Then only particle will be accelerated towards B. Charge of the alpha particle is twice E. So I can write 2E times E. Now, since proton is a positive charge, and positive charge experiences force in the direction of field, okay, positive charge experiences force in the direction of field, so field must be this way, rightward. Then only force will be in the direction of field. Same, exactly same thing as happens in case of a proton. So A must be at higher potential. B must be at lower potential. Potential decreases in the direction of field. So if it is an electron, then A must be lower at lower potential and B must be at higher potential. In case of these two charged particles, proton and alpha particle, uh, A must be at higher potential and B must be at lower potential. Is that fine? Okay, then part D. Rank the kinetic energies of the particles at point uh, B, greatest first. Now, if the particles are accelerated through B, accelerated through B because of this force, then their speed obviously will increase. If speed increases, kinetic energy increases. Okay, kinetic energy. Remember, they start with zero kinetic energy because they are at rest. Now, when they go through B, they must be having some kinetic energy. They must have gained some kinetic energy while going through, uh, through B. We have to rank their kinetic energies uh, when they reach to point B. Just rank them. We don't have to find out the exact value. Now, based on conservation of energy, uh, electric, uh, electric field being a conservative field, so energy is conserved, mechanical energy is conserved, so change in kinetic energy, magnitude of the change in kinetic energy is equal to change in magnitude of the change in potential energy. And change in potential energy is Q times delta V. Delta V is the potential difference. Okay, delta V is the potential difference. Well, in our case, initial kinetic energy is zero. So change in kinetic energy will be simply kinetic energy at B. Change in kinetic energy is kinetic energy at B minus kinetic energy at A, but A at A kinetic energy is zero because particles start from rest. So delta K is simply KB, kinetic energy at B is equal to charge. Delta V I'll simply represent by V. Okay, simply represent by V. V is the potential difference between point A and B. 
सो काइनेटिक एनर्जी इज इक्वल क्यू टाइम्स बी द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस बिटवीन ए एंड बी इज गिवन इज हंड्रेड वोल्ट इन रेस्पेक्ट ऑफ वी चार्ज वी आर डीलिंग विद इलेक्ट्रॉन प्रोटोन और एन अल्फा पार्टिकल सो वी इज सेम फॉर ऑल द केसेस ओके वी इज सेम फॉर ऑल द केसेस दैट वुड मीन काइनेटिक एनर्जी वेन पार्टिकल रीच एट बी is directly proportional to magnitude of the charge okay is directly proportional to magnitude of the charge so greater the charge of the particle greater will be the kinetic energy smaller the charge of the particle smaller is the kinetic energy out of the three particles out of the three particles alpha particle is having greatest charge twice e so alpha particle will be gaining maximum kinetic energy alpha particle will be having maximum kinetic energy when going through b so kinetic energy of alpha particle is greatest okay because its charge is greatest out of the three then proton and electron both of them have the same magnitude of charge ee e. 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 magnitude of charge so if their value of charge is same then their kinetic energies will be same so kinetic energy of proton is equal to kinetic energy of the electron so kinetic energy of alpha particle is greatest then kinetic energy of proton and alpha electron are the same as they go through point b is it fine so that's what we were asked to find out in this question that'll do for this session okay